Choosing your year 11 and 12 subjects can be very hard and very stressful. So today I'm going to be trying to help you make the right decision. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Daniel Gibbon and I just graduated with an ATAR of 99.90, gaining me provisional entry into UQ Medicine program with a 12k per year scholarship. And today I'm going to be giving my advice on how to choose the right subjects, with there being timestamps below for all of the major points. My first tip is that if you're trying to get a higher ATAR, that you play to your strengths, choosing subjects that you're good at. However, this doesn't mean just choosing the subjects that you get the highest marks in, but it means choosing the subjects that you do best relative to other individuals. As an ATAR, all of the subjects are scaled, so your relative performance is what really matters. So sit down and think about what subjects do I do best relative to my peers in, and then those are the subjects that you should pick if you want to try and get a good ATAR. However, you shouldn't just choose subjects because you're good at them, and preferably you should try and choose subjects that you really enjoy. Because the more you enjoy something, the more willing and the more motivated you're going to be to study it. And in grade 11 and 12, you're going to end up spending a lot of your time studying for these subjects, so it will help substantially if you actually enjoy the subjects themselves. You can also account for the teachers in each of the departments as well, because having good teachers can also help you be more motivated to study, and can also help you learn the content better. So these are just some more factors that you need to take into consideration when thinking about what subjects to choose. This brings us to our next and slightly more controversial point of choosing subjects that scale highly. As like we talked about before, in the ATAR, your mark is all about the relative scaling or how well you did relative to everyone else. So in historically harder subjects, a higher mark will be scaled more than a higher mark in an easier subject. And some people recommend that you should choose these higher scaling subjects to help you perform better. However, generally, I usually disagree with this, and I would strongly recommend choosing subjects that you're good at and that you enjoy. However, you need to take this with a grain of salt, as this is perfectly fine if you're just trying to get a pretty decent ATAR, or even a pretty high ATAR, around like 90 to like 98. However, when you're trying to really push the boundaries, and maybe even trying to get like a 99.95, the scaling of subjects does actually start to matter. As particularly in the QCE system, you need high scaling subjects to be able to get those top marks. This is particularly relevant for a couple of subjects like math, as math methods in the QCE system scale so much better than math general that if you can pretty much just pass math, math methods, you'll be doing better than you would in general and be able to get a higher ATAR. And remember, if you're ever finding a subject too hard, such as doing math methods, then you can always drop down to general math afterwards but it's good to just give it a go if you're aiming for those high ATARs. The next thing you need to consider is what you're likely to do after high school. As if you're planning on doing a particular university degree or you have a sort of idea of where you want to take your life or your career in the future, it can be really helpful to try and choose subjects that can help you in that career path. And in particular, for things like medicine, it can be really helpful to do certain subjects, such as chemistry as some of the medical universities require you to do chemistry as a prerequisite. Other university classes also have other prerequisites or just subjects that can help you in that career path. Such as if you're trying to do engineering, it can be very helpful to do the higher level maths like math methods and math specialist because you'll have to cover that otherwise in university uh, in a catch up course. Similarly, if you're thinking of maybe doing sciences down the road, then maybe study some of the sciences in high school or if you're thinking of doing something like journalism, maybe you should study some more humanities in high school. As not only will this set you better up for uni, but it will also be able to enable you to experience a bit more of these different subjects and help you make that decision of your future career path. So yeah, I'd really recommend just having a sit down and thinking where you might want to go once you've graduated and your potential career paths. One of the last things you can consider is choosing subjects that overlap. As at least for me, I did both math specialist and physics, and there was quite a bit of overlap between the two syllabuses. So although these subjects were incredibly hard, I was able to save quite a bit of time studying for the two subjects, because by studying one concept, I was practically studying for two subjects, saving some time and allowing me to perform better relative to my peers, because I had more time to study. So it can be helpful to choose overlapping subjects if you want to optimize your time better in grade 11 and 12 
However, this is just a small consideration and you should really focus on choosing those subjects that play to your strengths and that you're actually motivated to study. As for the subjects I did, I actually ended up doing Suicide 6 in grade 11 and 12, doing Math Methods, Math Specialist, Chemistry, Physics, Biology, and then obviously English. However, I didn't do these subjects just because I wanted a good ATAR or because my parents wanted me to, but I did them because I was actually genuinely interested in maths and science. Uh, but yeah, so, but that also brings us to another point is not to just do subjects because your parents want you to, but to actually do something that you will enjoy and something that will really help you perform well in, as it's never a good idea to let someone else make your own decisions. Choosing your subjects might be a bit overwhelming at first, but it's really important to know that it doesn't really matter and you'll always find another way if something goes wrong. And just to choose, do your best in choosing the subjects that are right for you. And if you mess up, you can always change subjects down the line or do some catch up uh, courses in university. So don't stress too much and just try your best. That brings us to the end of the video. If you found that useful, please leave a like. And if you like videos about ATAR, university and medicine and life in general, please subscribe. I have a couple other videos about UCAT and then also some videos uh, about like ATAR, uh, including my ATAR reaction, which I did recently.